everybody, I'm Megan Kaiser, the environmental engineer here at Bell's Brewery. Here at Bell's, we're always looking for ways to reduce our environmental impact from our brewing, packaging, and shipping processes. One of those areas that we focused on is our brewing wastewater. We use a lot of water when brewing beer. All of the water, except for the beer in your glass, goes back to the city's wastewater treatment facility before it can be returned to the environment. To cut down on the amount of energy that is required to clean it, we built our own wastewater treatment process, which we call the cube. The cube converts about 75% of the residual proteins, sugars, and alcohol from our beer and turns that into renewable energy before sending our wastewater to the city of Kalamazoo. The short version of how that works is water from the brewery comes over to the cube, hops and grains or large solids are screened out and sent to a biodigester to convert that into fuel. The water then goes into a tank with microbes who digest and clean it. And the byproduct from cleaning that is methane, which we burn in a combined heat and power generation to create energy. This not only is enough energy to run the cube, but also sends energy to offset the brewery's energy consumption. The effect of producing renewable energy from byproducts of brewing is twofold. Bells makes renewable energy and the city does not use electricity to treat and remove those byproducts. If you combine the re renewable energy produced in the cube and the energy not used to, by the city to treat our wastewater, the energetic savings are considerable. In 2020, we are on pace to save 1,317,273 kilowatt hours, which is equivalent to 1,026,236 pounds of coal, or the energy used by 107 homes in one year.